Once you've added the AMC25 license into your system, the following step is sending a mobile pass to a user. There are three ways to proceed. By sending an email, copying and pasting the code, or on site directly with a crypto reader. Let's take a look at each of these options. The email and copy paste options have the added benefit of being able to send a mobile pass remotely. Let's begin by sending a mobile pass to a user by email. Of course, just to be clear, to complete the registration process, the user must have an email program on their phone. I've logged into the system as an administrator. This brings me directly to the user menu. Click on the plus sign to create a new user. Enter their name and click save. Click the cards tab, then click plus to add a card for this user. Enter a descriptive display name for the card, then select Crypto Mobile Pass in the card format field. Click Save, and then click on the email icon to send the mobile pass to the user. Once you've sent the email to your user, you can simply click on the back arrow to return to the user database. The second means to send a mobile pass is using the copy and paste capability available on all smartphones and tablets. Atrium system administrators can use these devices to quickly copy, paste, and send all the required mobile pass registration information using any popular text messaging app on these devices. In this clip, we see John Smith's card menu as displayed by an iPhone. Android owners may see some minor cosmetic differences on their devices. When you tap the copy and paste icon, located in the middle of the three icons at the bottom of the screen, this will copy the mobile pass registration code on the device's clipboard. Open your messaging app and paste the clipboard contents to send it directly to the recipient's phone. Let's see how this is done. So when the copy has been, the registration was copied, we've opened the messaging app and now we're going to send it to John Smith paste the copied information from the atrium and send it to the user. The third and quickest method is by using a crypto reader on site to instantly activate the mobile pass on the phone. From the user's card menu, click or tap the scan icon. Select the most conveniently located crypto reader where the phone will be scanned by the user. Then click or tap the start scanning button. Once the system administrator has clicked the scan button in the atrium interface, the reader will start blinking twice red and twice green to indicate it is waiting for the phone to be scanned. Click on the scan button in the app. Here, and we present and hold the phone until we see a green check mark. And there we are. A pop up window will appear to confirm the activation has been completed. Click OK to return to the card menu. Keep in mind that this initial mobile pass activation process requires several moments to complete. Hold the phone close to the reader until green LED appears and the reader chirps. After a successful scan or after 30 seconds, the reader will, turn, will return to its normal blue standby status. The phone can now be used to access the doors in the building. Oh, and keep in mind, for the administrator, after sending out a mobile pass, be sure to set the user's access levels as you would do with any normal card. And don't forget that a mobile pass credential is equivalent in the system database as any other credential, a card or a key tag. So that's all for now. 
Watch the next video to see how to add a mobile bass in a phone. Bye-bye.